Good morning, we are on the road again. We've got a double weekend wedding again. I'm here grabbing some coffee. Um, Fallon's already at one of the offices or at one of the venues to set up the event and they realized they need a lot of batteries for the venues. Candles that they provide didn't have any batteries to make them light up. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some before I arrive and I'm just there for a little bit before I have to head out of town to Ozark. I don't really have to go to the other wedding to help. Um, both of us are more than uh, able to do our weddings on our own and typically we are not able to do that because of the timeline. However, in Ozark, I'm not allowed into their venue until 11. So that gives me about one hour to be able to do a little bit of things, grab a coffee, make sure I have a lot of energy. Dang it, I forgot an energy drink. <laughs> okay, I'll have to grab an energy drink when I'm at the store. These are our beautiful burgundy crushed velvet napkins and the rest of the decor was provided by the venue and set up by us. And now that we have most of the items ready to go, I'm checking in with Fallon and taking off to Ozark. We've made it in, I've unloaded, and it's time to set up. So I have obviously made it to Ozark and here is a time lapse of how fast I can go when it doesn't have a lot of time for setup but honestly when there's not a lot of tablecloths and it's farmhouse style tables so actually quite easier to set everything up. For this venue they had rented some items from the venue and I had used the pictures given to me by the bride of how to replicate the items and here I am just saying hi to the beautiful bridesmaids and the beautiful bride will be coming in soon. First things first is getting everything inside and in a general place. This is the venue owner. We're talking details. I'm making sure I'm on the same page so I know exactly what to do. There weren't as many guests as uh, anticipated from the beginning so I am moving the charger plates so that everyone is closer to the head table and the place seat the place seatings for the chairs that are extra we're just gonna leave it without charger plates that way it doesn't look any different and we don't have to worry about trying to put away the extra chairs however it still feels full and the pictures will be gorgeous I say this so many times, but this right here, the reception area is where I spend most of my time. If you have rented things from us, I'm going to be setting those up and play settings. You can see I'm just going down a row by row to make sure everything is 100% the exact same and symmetrical. That's what's going to make this look perfect in your photos. We also have the terracotta runners. I also am seeing some more of the venue owners and just kind of discussing things with them, making sure that I have everything done correctly and using their rentals correctly, putting the tea lights onto the correct candles and making sure all the candles that have the batteries that I'm placing out right now that belong to them, I'm putting their stuff in a generalized place in a remote. I'm gonna hide that and make sure all the batteries are working for these candles. So you can see that I'm working on that right now and I'm placing all of their cups that they have onto their tables at the moment. Fast forwarding a little bit, here I am continuing to set up and we have our photographers on site. We have our beautiful bride checking everything out. We're going through things together. She's happy and getting in to get her makeup done while I'm continuing to finish up the work over here. I always have a little pile of things that I'm going to place away later. We also seem to have the florals coming in and we also are going to be having a cake. Look at our beautiful bride, isn't she gorgeous? She doesn't even have to try. So right here, I am actually putting together the seating arrangements. So everybody has a drink ticket on their plate to give them a free drink as well. And I'm just kind of making sure that the seating arrangement is correct and also putting out the table numbers so everyone knows the right table to sit at. So now you see that I'm kind of putting together a little project piece. I'm putting different confetti pieces into some cones so we can give them to the inside seat. People, when they sit down for the ceremony, we're gonna give these out to people sitting on the ends. That way, as the bride and groom walk past them, I've already instructed all of the guests to be able to toss them into the air. And don't worry though, I'm the one who's going to be cleaning this up later. So I'm also gonna be coming back later to clean up all of the uh, debris that we're gonna make as their grand exit happens. But here's the final look of the ceremony space. It's gorgeous. Look how beautiful.
Right here you can notice that I've already pre-placed a couple of the confetti pieces for parents as they get entered in so they don't have to worry about not having a piece. And since I have finished that decorational area, I'm going to check in on my bride, make sure hair and makeup is going great. We have our large gaming items out in the reception hall so that people can have fun and have something to do. Our DJ is here, so we've connected, chatted about the details of the timeline to make sure we're on the same page as our bride and groom. And here's the final look of what our setup is. Now that I'm officially done setting up, I'm answering any of dad's questions. I'm here to help out with anything that mom or the bride needs and there for anything that the DJ might possibly need. Checking in to make sure the cake gets done correctly and if they have any questions or anything that they need. And here's our groom. He is separated right now because they haven't gotten to see their first look yet and we're preparing to do our first look just now. Before I show you that, here's our finalized cake area. Isn't it gorgeous? Now it's dad's turn, but first he has to get his best look on. So we're going to go ahead and prepare for the bride and her father to get to have their first look now. Now that we have stopped the waterworks, let's get some fun going with our pre-wedding party photos. Have you ever wondered who puts out the cupcakes that are not delivered by catering? It would be me. All right, so here we go. It's time to start the ceremony. I'm right here behind the scenes helping you all along the way, out of sight, out of mind, but definitely where the DJ can see me and where you can see me to feel confident that it's your turn to go down the aisle. Don't worry, I'm going to make sure if the ring bearer is actually holding the rings, that he has them. Also, if the best man and maid of honor are holding the rings, I'm also making sure that they have them. Now we are waiting for the all rise. The bride and her dad are right here, ready to go. And once they get my signal that they are in the clear, they're going to go ahead and head out into everyone's view. So I am the professional dress fluffer. I'm going to go ahead and fluff the rest of her dress really fast before she makes it down the aisle. During their ceremony, I'm doing a few room flip items, which is moving one sign to a different room to say something else. And then I'm taking away the welcome sign and repurposing our easel to use for our seating chart. This is all while you guys are getting married. You, no one has any idea I've done this because it's already done before your ceremony is over. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly put away my sign into my vehicle. Catering staff is here just making sure that they are all good to go as well. The food was phenomenal. 
And uh, here is just a little bit of the behind the scenes of what I'm doing while you're getting married that you wouldn't even realize is happening. I'm checking in with the catering staff to make sure everyone's good to go because the ceremony will be ending soon and making sure that the gift area looks great. And here I am back before you even knew it and ready to start for your grand exit. Now kiss your bride. During rehearsal, we do chat about where we're going to go during the grand exit, and I always suggest bridal party. You do not walk down the aisle until the bride and groom have made it fully down because we are going to most likely be doing a stop and kiss moment and we don't want you standing right behind them awkwardly in the photo so we always wait for you guys to make it fully down the aisle we get you into a room where you won't be stopped by any of your guests right away so they can get to the cocktail hour and you can get your photos started quickly and efficiently so you can go ahead and join the reception as soon as possible so here you are getting your post ceremony photos done and all of your guests have already started enjoying cocktail hour. Pro tip, always have a few extra things for your guests to snack on before you start your meal. That way nobody gets too hungry and everybody's happy. While they're enjoying cocktail hour, you're doing your pictures. I'm doing wedding coordination details like cleaning up and closing up the ceremony space. That means tearing down everything from the confetti on the floor to the flowers on the chairs. Everything is moved out of this room so it can be closed and cleaned and you don't have any damage deposits to lose. I'm also over here with the girls because it looks like we had a bit of a moth issue in the dress, but we were able to take care of that since they did some outdoor pictures and we're getting ready to do our grand entrance right now. Am I re-fluffing your dress? Um, yes. Yes, I am. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is the moment you've all been waiting for. So if you will all rise in honor of the bride and the groom, put your hands together and direct your attention towards this entryway. It is my pleasure to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Bay. After everybody's had a chance to eat, starting with the bride and groom, then the family and introduced by Rose to go and get their food. We're going to go into the catering after everyone's had a chance to get their food um, or the cake cutting. I'm sorry. So I always kind of talk with the bride and groom about how to do this part beforehand because the worst thing you want to do is have someone who's blocking your photos trying to tell you what to do during your cake cutting area. So I usually come up to your head table and I chat with you like, here's how you're going to do it. I have the plates ready for you to put your cake onto and uh, some napkins nearby just in case you're gonna need them and some forks. So I usually kind of walk you through it verbally and I'm right there on the side just in case you need anything. But usually since I've already chatted with you beforehand, there's no confusion on how to get the cake. Sometimes if you don't do that beforehand, you get kind of confused on how to go ahead and get the cake off there safely because it looks easy, but it actually is a little tricky. After the cake cutting, we're going to move into toasts. This gives you the opportunity to enjoy your cake while we're doing toasts. There's going to be a little bit of intermission in between um, doing the toasts and going into the dances. But right now, the catering staff is actually going to be helping cut the cake, which is amazing for me because that takes the responsibility off of me because I'm not really a professional cake cutter, but I definitely have cut quite a bit of cake and they're helping serve the cake too. So. It's just amazing when we have staff. If we don't have staff doing that, that usually ends up being what I'm doing for you. After you've had a chance to eat your cake, we're going to go into all of the dance moments. After the dance moments have happened, I'm over here really trying to clean up all of the chargers and get everything off. Sue? Three. 
that is what I like to call dance cleaning right there. So I'm a professional dance cleaner. So I'm actually cleaning off our charger plates. Um, charger plates are like the decorational piece that you're gonna put your actual plate you're eating off of. So I just clean off all of the food debris that might've fallen onto the sides while I'm also getting in some dance moves. So now it looks like I've gotten all the charger plates off, all of the trash off, and now it's just down to the decorations and I need to clean up the floors. If you ever ask me to hold your baby so you can dance as a couple on the dance floor, um, the answer is 1000% yes. Cleaning up um, like during your wedding is kind of like not rushing it, but looking at what things are no longer being paid attention to and deciding whether it's time to remove it. The best time to do the tables, charger place, the napkins, cleaning all of that up um, is literally right after all of the first dances. Um, and then things like this uh, game, no one's playing with it. The kids are hardly paying attention to it anymore, the ones that are still here. So I put up the kids table, I'm starting to put up the games, and charger plates have all been wiped down. Um, we didn't need any of the signs anymore or the cake stands. Pretty much everything that is a rental besides my wedding emergency kit bag has been moved to the car with the exception of one more item, which is Jenga, and I'm gonna sneakily put that up too. I don't know if you can hear me, but listen up, fellas. This groom on the wedding day sent his bride a sweet card with flowers. Learn from this, gentlemen. Learn from that. That is some, take notes. Send your girl flowers on your wedding day and write a freaking love note because that is the best. That's the best. I can't even. 100% 10 out of 10 recommend. We have now entered into what I call the skeleton crew phase of your wedding. This is the time when all of the main events have done. Everyone who's older has probably said their goodbyes and you have your closest friends closing out the ceremony time with you. It's usually the best time. It's the time where a lot of the stories get made, a lot of the laughs get created, and I'm here for all of it. Everything was 100% ready to be closed down by this point. We're playing the last song and all I have to do is help the bride and groom make sure everything that is theirs gets loaded into their car. Welcome to the behind the scenes. I hope you enjoyed and call if you have any questions.